Hello everyone, Tal Golden here at the Deep Zone, at the deep dot zone where number and symbol meet the heart and mind. Uh, tonight I'm going to talk about gematria, uh, what it is, how to use it. Um, if you're at this uh, channel for the first time, you've probably heard about it. Uh, tonight I'm going to explain uh, something for uh, people that are new to it. Uh, gematria is a uh, is a art and a science that's been around for thousands of years. Uh, the Babylonians used it. The Sumerians used it. There's records of this. Uh, the Christian monks used it, you know, in the Middle Ages. The Bible is full of gematria, uh, both um, in, the, in the English uh, King James translation and in the uh, original Greek, uh, there's a lot of gematria, and the Hebrew in the Old Testament. Um, and I'm sure in, in many languages, and probably in all languages on, on, on some level or another, there's gematria uh, going on somewhere. Most of the time, it's a, it's a secret practice. Uh, it's, it's done in secret because um, the people that practice it don't want the rest of us to know about it, but we are finding out about it. And uh, tonight, I'm going to explain to you how it works. Um, let me go up here to my, uh, to my English ordinal cipher to show you how there we go okay now when you take the alphabet and you start with a being one and z being 26 and you can see how how all those letters you may add up and everything b2 c3 on up the line right there that's what's called english ordinal the english ordinal cipher it's the most basic form of gematria there is, uh, like English reduction. Now, before some of you say, well, you're using any cipher you want to get uh, whatever number you're looking for. Well, not not so much because, like I said, gematria is the art and a science. Um, there's rules involved, and we're going to get into those in just a little bit, okay? Now, um, that's the most basic form of gematria, but there's another form of gematria that's called England's reduction, and it's based on the uh, on the cipher that uh, Pythagoras used. Um, another name for it is called uh, the digital root, because what you're doing is you're taking like it's it's the same all the way up to uh, it's all this it's uh, the same all the way up to I, because those are your first nine letters, your first nine numbers. Now, when you get to number ten, what you're going to do is you're going to take um, those double digits and you're going to reduce them down to a single digit. So J is the tenth letter, so it's one plus uh, plus zero, and that's going to give you one. Okay, K one uh, is the eleventh letter. One plus one equals two. L the twelfth letter. One plus two equals three, and on on up the line until you get to a uh, uh, Z, where two plus six equals eight. Okay, and you know. I and R, those are the one, only ones that add up to nine. So that's what your that's what your twenty six letter alphabet looks like when it's reduced. Okay, now there are three exceptions uh, as far as letters go, where uh, where numbers are not reduced or not reduced as much, like in single reduction. Let's start there with with S. Now let me go up back up to this cipher. Now S is the nineteenth letter. Okay, so when you're reducing, you're going to add one plus nine. Now, when you do that, it equals 10, of course. 10 has two digits in it, so if you're going to reduce it, you're going to have to reduce down again, okay? So that's just the numbers are forcing you to do that. Now, um, when you reduce it, but all the letters, all the other letters get reduced one time. So with S, there's, there's some variation right there because of the way the alphabet is structured. And that's... Uh, Done by design, I would believe, because of the way, the more detail you get into it, the more you look at the at the at words and phrases and everything, and, and you see how the S works, you know, with uh, with other words that are related to it and everything. Um, it's put there for a reason. All right. Now, the other two exceptions are that we're talking about are K and V. Now, why why is that? Because see, K is the eleventh letter, and V is the twenty second letter. In numerology, double-digit letters like 11, 22, 33, uh, 44 on up the line to 99, all those are known in numerology as master numbers because they're multiples of 11, like they're double-digit numbers. So um, in numerology, uh, those, those letters you know, have a significance, so they're, 
they're not you have a choice to reduce them because they're master numbers. A lot of t- a lot of numerologists won't won't reduce them at all for that. But for that reason right there, um, it's it's pretty well known in gematria that those letters K and V uh, can either be reduced or left alone. 